Retrospect offers a backup method called Proactive Backup. This allows you to schedule a backup that will dynamically look for machines on the network that have not been backed up in the longest amount of time. This is different from a traditional backup method. With a traditional backup script, you might have a list of 100 sources. But because of a limited amount of time, you may only be able to back up 25 or 30 of those machines per night. And the script will traditionally always start at the very top and work its way down, backing up the same machines over and over again, leaving machines at the end of the script rarely, if ever, backed up. Well, proactive backup is different because it will dynamically adjust itself looking for machines that have not been backed up in the longest amount of time. We're going to go ahead and take a look at a proactive script. Proactive scripts are located under the Automate section under Proactive Backup. We click on New and we give it a name. We call it Proactive Backup. We click OK and we go to Sources. In this case, you want to have as many sources as you, can, you want because with a large number of sources it will dynamically adjust and locate the machine that has not been backed up in the longest amount of time. So we're going to choose a bunch of folders and then one particular computer out on our network. This script may contain 50 computers on the network depending on what your needs are. So we have our long list of sources and we click OK. We go to destination and we go ahead and choose a disk backup set if we want or a tape backup set. And we click OK. This script can also contain multiple destinations if you want to. We'll talk about that in a little while. When we go down to the schedule, we can see that the schedule is set to always active. Proactive backup is really designed to be run on a dedicated machine and to be polling and searching for machines over an extended period of time. We'll click OK, and we'll click OK again, and then we'll expand this and go to the activity monitor to the proactive section. And in the activity monitor, monitor under proactive, we can start the script. And this script will list for us our different sources, and it will pull and look for the machines that have the greatest priority. Because this is a new script, all the machines in the list have equal priority. What Retrospect will do is it will scan each available source to see if it's on the network. An example would be that you have a laptop that's been away from the office for several days. What will happen is that laptop will plug into the network, Proactive Backup will pull the network to see if that machine has been plugged in, and if it has, then it's likely to back up that machine within about 5 or 10 minutes of connecting to the network. This makes Proactive Backup actually an ideal solution for traveling laptops. As you can see in this list, Proactive Backup indicates that the first source has been backed up, and it moved it to the bottom of the list. Now it's looking at the next source and ex executing that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the proactive backup so we can see what happens when a backup actually fails. When we go to, proactive, go to the proactive backup and we stop on a source, what we'll see is that the source is going to retry at a later time. So next to the, the source name, we saw that it reported retry. It's also dynamically changing pretty quick because it's backing up all these machines uh, in a fast way. As you can see, the, the Dell folder is backed up while Documents and Settings reports retry. Essentially that means that Retrospect will retry the backup of that machine at a later time. So if you were backing up a laptop on the network and that laptop were to disconnect from the network, Retrospect will retry the backup of that machine at another time. So that's another advantage of the proactive backup, is the ability to retry the backup if a backup were happened to fail. So the heart of proactive backup is its ability to, to dynamically look for machines that haven't been backed up in the longest amount of time. So ideally, if you had a network of 50 computers, and you only had time to back up 10 or 20 of them in a night, the following day, it's not going to back up somebody that, backed, that had backed up that previous night, it's going to get the user that hasn't been backed up in the longest amount of time. And if it's a laptop that's been on the road for two or three weeks, that user is likely to have the greatest priority, and so it's going to back them up next. As we can see, Retrospect reports it's going to get it as soon as possible. For the one that was backed up, 
its next backup is approximately 24 hours from now. So one of its goals is also to back up a machine at least once every 24 hours. You can change those options, so if you want to back up a user less frequently or more frequently, we can adjust those settings, and we'll look at that in a moment. We can also force the backup of a machine to happen at a specific time. By double-clicking on that user, it'll allow us to type in a time, and so we can specify an approximate time that we want to try to back up that user. So if we know that a machine is about to leave the office because it's being repaired, or the, computer, the user is about to go on a, on a trip, then you can specify an approximate backup time so that it'll force a backup of that machine prior to that laptop or that computer leaving the office.